What the magic is? I'm so glad to see that. Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm giving you an honest review on MX vs ATV Legends, not because you asked me to, but because I want to. Firstly, I want to say that I actually buy every single MX vs ATV game, actually every motocross game that comes out because I like to support the uh, developers and uh, hopefully, you know, the more money they make, the better the games will get. So anyway, let's jump into it. So they haven't done much with the physics, but they've got uh, cool sounds in the menu now. Sounds like you're about to start a rap song. Alright, so when I first started playing this game, I wasn't a massive fan, let's be honest. I started playing for a little bit and I just wasn't wasn't gelling with it and enjoying the, you know, the way the guy moves on the bike and, and all that sort of stuff. And, then I started to realize, you know, this is an arcade game. This is meant to be fun. It's not meant to be realistic. It's meant to be enjoyable for kids, you know, from the age of six to 14 years of age. And I thought, will this bring young kids towards the sport? I think it will. I think that young kids can play this game with their friends and enjoy it and be like, wow, I really like dirt bikes. That's really fun. You know, um, not every game needs to be a simulator. And I feel like this actually nails the the genre of having a bit of fun and and riding around i didn't enjoy the motocross and the supercross very much on this game which is what i do in real life that said though the the tracks were insane i think they've done a really really good job with the tracks and obviously the graphics on the game are really really good but uh the physics and the way it sort of handles and stuff just wasn't really that great for me uh, on the motocross and the supercross but the trail side of things the enduro side of things i really enjoyed I actually found myself uh, switching to first person a lot and just sending it through the trails. For me, it was just the closest I could get to feeling like a bit more realistic and what I'm kind of used to. But uh, yeah, it's actually like really, really fun to just send it through the trails, um, narrowly missing trees and just, I don't know, you feel like you're going really fast and it's really enjoyable. The maps are beautiful. They're massive. I feel like the uh, developers have put a lot of effort into making huge open world sort of tracks, maps. I think it's honestly the coolest thing about this game. I think that everyone should definitely buy this game and go try out the open world side of it because it feels like back in the day on MX vs ATV, you know, Untamed and Unleashed where you had those open worlds where you just ride and just having fun and enjoying it with your friends and I mean, this is just an updated version. It's got better graphics. The physics are honestly pretty similar to MX vs ATV Unleashed and stuff from back in the day. I, it's not like All Out. I wouldn't say, I think it's a bit better than All Out, a bit more grippy. The sounds in this game are actually pretty terrible, especially the 252 stroke. It is nearly unbearable to listen to. But uh, the 250F and the 125, not too bad. Just the 252 stroke is, is pretty bad. Listen to this. So yeah, there, it's pretty bad. I will give you one tip though when you're playing this game. You can uh, lean forward with the left stick and it'll make you stand up and look a little bit less goony. And then the right stick, if you're, you're holding forward with the left stick and, and lean back a little bit with the right stick, you can make it squat a little bit, which makes it look a little bit better. But uh, other than that, he, he looks he looks pretty goon. If you, if you lean back everywhere, he just looks a little bit silly. But that's why I like the first person a lot better. Whipping is really, really stiff on this game. It's really hard to like make it do anything at all. You can scrub. Scrubbing is actually pretty good. I think, you know, I haven't obviously put enough hours into the game to be very good at it, but scrubbing is pretty good. You can upgrade your bikes, you can change your parts, anything you really want on there. You can put a nice pro circuit on. Uh, you can also change your seat, grips, you know, 
most of the main things. I didn't see anywhere you could put a sticker kit on, which is a bit weird. But anyway, then you can also go to tuning and there is a fair bit you can do in here to make the bike, you know, a little bit more grippy, uh, have more acceleration, have more top speed, you know, make it handle a little bit better suspension wise, you know, the brakes, all the sort of stuff that is pretty standard in the dirt bike games these days to make, uh, make the bike better. So yeah, when you start out, it's pretty slippery and whatnot. And then, yeah, you can make it better by upgrading and doing whatever you want to it really there's not a whole lot of gear you can choose from to be honest with you i thought there'd be a lot more but i mean there's two sets of alpine star gear that's pretty much all you need uh, in life so yeah my honest opinion on the game is that once you do the bike up a little bit it's not too bad it's not the worst game it's not obviously the best game but uh, on ps4 and xbox you don't really have a huge option and I think you'll enjoy it anyway. Like it actually is really fun. I think doing the trail riding, it sounds silly, but it is really, really, really fun. Like I didn't really enjoy the Supercross and Motocross that much because I play a lot of simulator games and, and those games have it pretty dialed. But for, you know, the people who just want to get on, have some fun, don't want to take it serious. And also for the younger kids and younger generation coming through who want to get interested in dirt bikes, Honestly, this game is pretty good. I, I actually enjoy playing it. It's worth buying and trying out all those big, massive open world maps. Anyway, that's it for me for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a comment of what you want to see in the next video because that actually helps me a lot. And uh, thanks for watching once again and see you on the next one. Bye.